Hello, this is Frederico from Potential Games, and uh, this is a short video that is directed uh, to any people who want to make their own videos and want their sound quality, specifically a voice of their own voice, uh, to be good, for their commentary to be clear, and uh, yeah, for people to be able to understand what they're saying. So here I have. Uh, some a sound file of my voice that I just recorded. It was for Active Radio Feed the Beast episode six. And what I should probably I should probably be recording my mouse, but anyway, what you want to do is have the cursor over well actually the first step is before you start recording video, you want to be recording audio. This can be done with the uh the big the big button with the red circle that means record. So what you want to do is you press that, wait at least 5 seconds. Here I wait about 10 seconds, but that's mostly because it takes me a while to open uh, Feed the Beast and switch it to full screen mode, so you get nice quality of video as well, without the black lines. But basically what you want to do, once you've done that, and then you can start recording your video after 5 seconds. Talk, talk whatever, here I talk for far too long. I wanted to make it a short video and it ends up going for 24 minutes. Basically, you want to put your cursor over 5 seconds. You want to click and drag to the left. So now you have the first 5 seconds of uh, your audio, of your voice, highlighted. Now, click on the effect button, click noise removal, click get noise profile. What this is going to do is to find all the noise, all the background noise, from these first 5 seconds when you're not talking. And what this allows you to do is you want to press back, skip to start, and that'll deselect it. Go into effect, go into noise removal again. This time you just want to click OK. Now, this is going to take a while depending on how long your uh, video goes for, but what it's going to do is it's going to find all the parts in the video that sound like that first part, which is just background noise, and then it's going to remove it. So basically, what you're left with is your voice with no background noise, essentially. So see how this line is completely flat now? And you'll also be able to see that the rest of it, whenever I'm not talking, uh, there's no other noise. It's much clearer. Hello, this is Frederico. If we undo this... Hello, this is... It's only slight, but you can hear that background noise. just a low droning, so all this, and then you can delete whatever is silent at the start, and then you're just left with your audio, so I uh, probably want that about there. Hello, this is, f so now I can put this, uh, cut it into my editing with my video, and we're all good. Now the trick is to make sure that when you record, you don't record your voice. In this case, there is going to be background noise on my voice in this video because I can't record with Audacity while talking about Audacity really. It's kind of difficult to do that. So instead I've got Fraps here and I'm just recording external input. So that's my microphone. It's recording that. And so uh, there are two more steps which you can choose to do. So the first one is the compressor. So what I'm going to do is quickly place some of it without any other effects. So just with noise removal. Hello, this is Frederico from Potential Games. So there's my classic intro, which I didn't want to be an intro, but it turned into an intro. So then you have to wait about 30 seconds for it to fully compress the, uh, well, it's applying a dynamic range compression. What this does is it kind of makes the, the lower parts lower and it makes the higher parts higher. It doesn't really make too much of a noticeable effect there. It just, it, yeah, that's not really compressing. It's, I don't actually know what it does. I'm not like a sound technician or whatever. But it... Oh. Not responding. Fun. I'll be right back. Oh, wait, no, it is responding. I won't be right back. Anyways, now you can hear it again. Hello, this is Frederico from Potential Games. So it sounds very similar. 
another effect you can add is bass boost. Uh, pretty sure you needed that at about eight. So watch the uh, watch the sound wave thing there. Okay, it's not actually noticeable what happens. That's because it's uh, it's not responding again. Oh, there we go. So the bottom bit uh, drops a bit further. So hello, this is Frederico from Potential Games. So it sounds similar, but the bass is slightly more amplified. Um, I am not going to keep that because I don't really like it. I think it sound, makes my voice sound a bit weird. And I'm just going to go back all the way to where I only had the noise removal. Hello! And that's fine, so that's all you have to remember for uh, recording clean audio voice. So first you want to make sure that your video recording program, in this case uh, for me it's Fraps, isn't recording your own voice, you just want it to be recording game sounds and video. Then you want to leave at least five seconds of silence and then uh, you can start recording your video. Then at the end you want to come back, highlight the first five seconds, then you want to do noise removal, get noise profile, then you want to deselect it, you want to go noise removal, OK. And that will remove all the background noise from your video and or not your video, just from your audio, specifically your voice. So I would like to thank you for watching. I hope this was informative. Uh, I'm going to put a link in the description to uh, Audacity. It's a free program. You can download it. Uh, Fraps is not, so I'm not going to be linking to Fraps. Um, but yeah, there are plenty of free video recording softwares as well. And so yeah, uh, if you want to look at that, you can probably just Google it. So anyway, I hope this helped you out. And I should probably add on to uh, use this file because it's useless in here. You want to go export and export it as whatever name you want. And in this case, I export it as a WAV file, which is Microsoft. And that just allows you to press OK. It'll export it all. That allows you to drag the uh, file into editing programs such as Windows Movie Maker, which is a Microsoft program, and it should work on uh, any Microsoft operating system, I assume, with any program. Uh, that just means it probably won't work in things like iMovie. I wouldn't know, though, because I'm not a fan of Macs. So, again, uh, thank you for watching.